YouTube, forgive me for I have sinned. It has been two weeks since my last therapy session, and boy, do I need it. So first, let me say that um, last week I missed therapy because of the fact that I was lazy. I had some stuff to do, I got it done, but hey, you know, it's, it's okay, right? Nothing happened while I wasn't here. Oh, right, yeah, that. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should talk about that. See, a few things happened. You know, we took on some abnormalities. You know, they're, they're friendly, kind of, sort of people. Things over there. Do they still classify abnormalities as people because they came from people? I'm still unclear on this. If you could just, if you could just point me in the right direction so that we can classify these, these things, these wonderful, wonderful people are not people, the entities, entities, they classify these entities as, as need be. Gender doesn't matter. I just need to know if they're still classified as human or inhuman because the treatment of these creatures is inhumane, but it's okay. I digress. I think there are two main points that I want to get to today. First of all, being the one winged angel. What the freaking heck, Philip? First of all, you can't just pretend things don't exist and then expect to be okay, Philip. It just, it doesn't, doesn't work that way. Guess what you end up with? You end up with that. Nobody needs that in their lives. It's like you freaking took a crap on the carpet and then, well, you know, you expected everybody else to clean it up and then you still run away. I wish that I could leave my responsibilities in the garbage fire that was 2020 like Philip seems to. Because not only was his boss fight annoying, not only was I killing small children, all right, I've killed way too many children these past couple of weeks. It's kind of starting to be all, all the same. All the innocent little lives. That, oh no, actually, screw Philip. He's not innocent. Never mind. Rat resumed. Okay, <laughs> he's not innocent. Freaking selfish little baby bastard. Hopefully one day I get to re examine our relationship with Philip. Maybe I will like him more, but for now, all I feel like is I want to ring the little bastard's neck. Stop! Making more problems for me, Philip. Please. E even though Philip creates problems, he's actually not the biggest problem. I've realized that I'm not the most messed up person in the library anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angela. Angela. A Angela, where are you at? It's therapy time. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, ther it's therapy time. It's now Angela's therapy corner. Why? Because this entire library, the scenario we're in, and everything that has to do with anything is really therapy for Angela. I mean, sure, therapy for everybody else, but they've already kind of had their, their realizations and everything, and they've absolved their sins, and they've kind of worked things out. But they've also had a lot of character development, but nobody needs a lot of punching in the face. Good old library-style therapy like Angela. Every single time we come to a floor of realization, we have to administer more therapy via our fist. And I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying this after being made a nugget. I think this is kind of like therapy for myself as well as therapy for her because she's apparently like a masochist that enjoys us beating sense into her. I don't know if there's a bad ending and a good ending, but I'm assuming if there was that we would need to continue to give therapy to this girl this poor 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 girl who has had way too much freaking horrible stuff seen over and over and over and over again every floor that we come to a realization we just realize wow ian gets father of the year award for the next million years my god what have you unleashed on this world that you what who nah he you don't make ais that are your loved ones or shaped like your loved ones or made to replace your loved ones we studied this already we have an entire manga about it it's called chobits please go read it tell me how well this ended tell me exactly where the good part about making a ai that resembles your loved one was supposed to be a good idea because I'm going to tell you, it doesn't exist. And the fact that we are now suffering because of Ian's mistakes. Boy, and I've killed so many children. Because we're suffering for Ian's mistakes that I I just, I, I, 
if I ever, if he gets reborn into something, well, I hope he gets reborn into a freaking popcorn machine so that I can use and abuse him like he has abused Angela. <laughs> I feel so bad. Why was I beating on her when she was in a corner crying? Oh, and yes, for those of you who do not know already, yeah, we, we, we met Bina, and, well, um, the perpetual smug face leaves me to think that she will probably be this girl, at least for a little bit, until we see what Gabor's Red Mist form is actually like, because Thick Bora is therapy. If you enjoy these Library of Ruin of Therapy videos and want to see the Let's Plays, you can check them out over here. If you like my channel and you want to see whatever comes up next, because I'll be posting more things as I rant about various stuff or talk about things and review games, you can click on the sub button and check out my videos and stuff here. Until next time, adventurers, may the tricks be with you. Peace out.